do you work at or own or manage an IT services firm that provides IT managed services like being an MSP? If so, you're definitely in the right place and you'll want to watch the short video that's excerpted from a webinar recording we held a little while back where you'll learn managed IT services pricing strategy tips. The answer is the question, what managed services pricing strategy should you use and how should you structure your service level agreements? If you get good value from the short video, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so you can be notified when new videos similar to this become available. Our next question is here is uh, what managed services pricing strategies should we use and how should we structure service level agreements? I think the first thing to recognize is that a lot of the ideal clients that you want aren't up at two o'clock in the morning in a cold sweat worrying about managed services. They may be worried that, oh, oh crap, our, our network is down again, or why does the system keep crashing, or you know, our competitor had a major security breach, are we next? Those things they may actually be legitimately worrying about, but it's not likely that they're searching for that particular keyword phrase on search engines. You know, and again, your buyer persona research will tell you that one way or the other. But if you're just focused on your pricing, yeah, obviously the pricing that you use has to be profitable. And a lot of managed service providers that don't scale get stuck at the whole idea of product market fit, product market fit. What is product market fit? It's that you've identified the right services, the right features, the right product, basically the right product and bundling that appeals to the market that you're going after. And in larger MSPs and larger software companies and larger technology companies, this is an entire separate discipline called product management. And if you really, really want to scale your business substantially and you're selling packages of managed services, it's critical that even if you don't have a full-time product manager on your payroll, that you start to learn enough about how all of this works. Um, but along the same lines, you should not be leading with pricing. If pricing is on your homepage, if pricing is the first thing a stranger sees about your company, something is, you know, obviously you can talk about pricing. That's a, a valuable way to attract people to your website, but that shouldn't be the only trick in your playbook because early on, people don't really care about your features and your pricing. They care about the problems that you can solve for them. What's in it for me? Um, early on, until you've built up trusted advisor status, until you've been seen as an educational resource, you really don't want to go to a pricing conversation. So a lot of what this comes down to is if you're just focused on pricing, yeah, sure, that's a product management issue. It's an operations issue, tracking time, tracking profitability. It's definitely something to be considered. But if that's your primary go-to-market strategy, if that's what your, your marketing funnel and your sales funnel is all about, you're missing a, you're missing most of the opportunity to be able to capture the true value about what it is that you do. In terms of structuring your service level agreements, it's largely the same thing. And again, if you want to get insight as to what's going on in the minds of your ideal buyers that you're trying to attract, most of these types of questions will come up when you're doing thorough buyer persona research. Because the persona research, for the most part, informs what you're doing with your premium content creation and how you're going to attract the right visitors to your website and where to, what to concentrate on with, with topics and, and uh, channels and things like that. But along the same lines, you're asking them, what do you look for in, in a company like this? How do you evaluate a company? What's the experience you're looking for? That will definitely give you ideas as to how to handle pricing and whether pricing is really at the top of their, their list or it's really like a second or third or fourth priority. And along the same line with SLAs. Hey there, it's Joshua Feinberg from SP Home Run, and we are so glad that you stopped by to watch this video today. If you got good value from its content, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and ring the bell so that you can be notified when new videos just like this become available. Hope you're having a great day, and we wish you great success.